Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the What's up guys, Lance Obscure Movie Guy coming to you once again with another fun-filled, fact-filled video that you probably won't care about, trying to change the world one post at a time. So today we're going to go over some private detectives. Yes, indeed, something I don't know a whole lot about. Uh, so back in October, uh, I was commissioned by my good buddies, the beard and the mustache, um, to come up with 25 of the greatest detectives of all time and what they were going to celebrate for their Geektoberfest. However, Louie and Junior have been running into some technical issues and have been dealing with natural disasters such as hurricanes, mudslides, bad weather, poor internet, and a poor infrastructure in Puerto Rico. So... Thoughts and prayers go out to them as they've been trying to get themselves back on their feet for quite some time now. Um, we were able to film a segment for them, but then they sent their clips off to get edited, and the person that does their editing ended up getting sick, and it's just been a, it's been a whole mess, unfortunately, for them for quite some time. But I felt compelled to at least share the little bit that I do know in regards to what they were going to celebrate, and hopefully they do get that video out sooner rather than later. So I'm going to do uh, what I'm going to call November for noir series type stuff. Top 25 private detectives. We're not talking about police detectives. We're talking about PIs. So got 25 lists. Today we're going to run down the first five, 25 to 21. So buckle up and sit tight. Here we go. Yes, the devil himself, not so much a PI, but more of a consultant for the LAPD, had the ability to pull out of people their deepest desires. However, this ability never actually helped him figure out who had done it. Often trying to have his aha moment, his ability often led him to figuring out who hadn't done it. Mr. Viper. Mr. Viper. Hello. You've already wasted so much of your life. What do you desire to do with the rest of your time on Earth? All I want to do is my art. I swear I didn't shoot up any show. If I hated him so much, why would I bother to go after him and miss? Oh. Yes, he's got a point, actually. Perios is a bisexual, sharp-witted marine veteran with a gambling problem. She struggles with PTSD, alcoholism, and can't hold a steady job. Using her experience from working in military intelligence, she becomes a PI to solve the issues for people where police can't get involved. Originally ordered for a second season in 2020, but production was never started due to the COVID pandemic. You can't have a P.I. list without John Shaft. To be fair, though, he's more action star than P.I., but his deductive skills are showcased much better in the novels than they ever were on screen, which is why he's on the list, but also why he's so low on the list. Many people don't even know that he exists outside of TV and film. When Veronica's best friend Lily is murdered, she takes it upon herself in solving the case. This would become the norm for Veronica Mars, often solving cases that involve the deaths of her classmates and in one case, a serial rapist. She could be higher on this list because of her popularity in pop culture, but because the majority of her cases are personal specifically to her, I only put her in the 22 spot. The name Rick Castle was purposely picked because it sounded like Rich Asshole, which is played incredibly by Nathan Fillion. Castle was a mystery novelist who was originally brought in by the NYPD for questioning regarding a copycat murder based on one of his novels. He then helped solve the case along with Detective Beckett. Castle's unorthodox theories generally annoy the colleagues, but often helps him solve the case. 
Well, guys, that's going to do it for 25 to 21. In the next episode, we'll go from 20 to 16 as we continue down our list of the 25 greatest private detectives and media uh, entertainment cinema history. So be sure to check out the new videos coming up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment to the YouTube channel. Share the video. Let me know what you guys think so far. And I will see you guys in the next episode.